It's Friday, November 21st, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. Congratulations to two teams of UTEP engineers who've advanced to the semifinals in an international competition known as the DSAL Prize. The goal is to reduce worldwide water scarcity by encouraging and accelerating innovative solutions to treat brackish water in developing countries. One group consists of faculty and students with UTEP Center for Inland Desalination Systems. Their plan is to make a solar-powered desalination system that will use nanofiltration membranes to separate salt from water. With the technology, 93% of the treated water is expected to be drinkable or usable for irrigation. The other team, Suns River UTEP, consists of engineering students who will help prepare a prototype for the competition. In June 2015, the two UTEP teams will face off against six other teams and their technologies. The three frontrunners will then compete in Jordan in fall 2015 for the final challenge. The team that achieves the highest score will receive a quarter of a million dollars and have their system commercialized. This week, UTEP hosted the first State of the Homeless Conference, which focused on identifying the causes and conditions of homelessness finding potential solutions to minimize the effects of homelessness in the region and reducing the social stigma associated with homeless people in the community. Discussing homelessness is not always a pleasant subject or a pleasant topic. It's not usually an easy conversation. But as those of us dedicated to working with the homeless have come to understand, it's a necessary conversation that cannot continue to be avoided. The conference was organized by the Opportunity Center for the Homeless and its partner organizations. The UTEP Department of Social Work recently established a new learning partnership with the Opportunity Center that provides graduate social work students with educational opportunities to help homeless persons reintegrate into the community. Preparations are underway for the last commencement of UTEP's centennial year. On Saturday, December 13th, more than 1,200 UTEP students will cap off the centennial at the Don Haskins Center. Each of the three ceremonies will feature a special video presentation and all graduating students will receive a link to a special centennial video with highlights of their own commencement ceremony. Graduates, make sure you attend your commencement so you can be part of the video. Visit utep.edu slash commencement to RSVP and for all the information you need about day of parking, where to purchase regalia, and guidelines for what to bring to the ceremony. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!